Hi and welcome back to our channel. My name is Dima Otutu and I'm a developer advocate here at Timescale. Have you been looking for a way to visualize your data using pie charts on Grafana? Well, look no more because this video will show you exactly how to do that. This video is one of the multi-pack series of our Grafana visualization. I will walk you through the basis of pie charts and how to use them. Remember to make use of the timestamps below to navigate through the video as it makes it easy for you. If this is your first time on our channel, please do not make it your last by subscribing to us for more content. And if you end up enjoying this particular video, do well to give us a thumbs up as it helps you to push out our videos to more users who might find them beneficial. And don't forget to turn on your notification to know exactly when we post. We are the makers of TimescaleDB, the best relational database for time series and analytics which is built on top of Postgres. Which then means that if you're familiar with or know Postgres, then you know Timescale. With Timescale, you can adjust your data, analyze it using SQL, and also achieve better performance. Moving on, pie charts are mostly used when dealing with group of data. As the name suggests, the chart is in form of a big pie representing a whole data, which is divided into multiple parts or slices. Each part of the pie chart represents a subcategory of the whole data. They help to show the proportion and percentage of each category that constitutes the data. As each slice is proportional to the quantity of data it represents, we will dive into how it works on Grafana. To follow along with this tutorial, we have a documentation which will be linked in the description box with some code samples and helpful tips that we will make use of in this video. Be sure to check it out. And now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so we are currently on our Grafana dashboard. If this is your first time using Grafana and you do not know how to set up a dashboard or even import the data you want to use, we have a tutorial on this channel which I'm going to be linking up here or in the description box that will help you set up your Grafana. So straight up, I'm going to create a new panel. To create a new panel, all I had to do was to click on this icon that says add panel. So once you do that, we're going to get this screen here that shows us how to add a new panel. So we are going to click on add new panel. So when we click on add new panel, it's directly bringing us to this page where we have our time series chart. But what we are trying to get is pie chart. So what we have to do is to come to this right side here, click on this drop down to change the visualization. We are going to be changing it to pie chart. So you just simply search for pie chart. We are not going to be making use of the old or the one without the old. So we are going to click on this. Once we have this, the next thing we are going to do is to change our data source. The data source is the database you want to, you know, be displaying the data. So we are going to quickly switch this from Grafana. I have already imported mine and um, I'm calling this stocks data. So once you do that, um, the next thing I'm going to do is to edit the query. And to do that, I'm just going to click on this icon here. We already have a query here, but I'm going to clean it out and replace it with my own query. If you want to have access to the query I made this of here, be sure to check out our documentation that is already linked in the description. So I'm going to be pasting this here. We are going to be making use of time bucket and I'm passing time interval. The time interval, if you check here, you can see that I have a bucket interval. It's going to be one day. I can easily switch it. I'll quickly show you how to add variables if you haven't. And if you check here, you can see that our query has already run. And we have, um, we are comparing Apple, ABMB, we have BLK, AMD. These are the stocks that we are comparing that I want to check out, you know, which particular one has the highest price at this particular time range. Before um, we proceed, let me quickly show you how to add a variable. So if you come to this settings icon here, you can see variables here. You can see that I have all my variables. I have my symbol. My symbol is a query because I'm querying my table to return all the company names that I have. And then if we go back to these variables again, you can just click on update. You can see that I have bucket interval, which is an interval. I can add one minute, 10 minutes, 30 days, any amount of um, interval you want to add, you can also do that. So now let's get back to our pie chart. So you can see here that I'm querying um, my stocks real table and I'm comparing the data from Apple, ABMB, AMD, and BLK. You can see here, I'm also passing time in inter bucket interval, which is one day. And the time range from here is from May to um, August. 
for July here. Yeah. So you can easily apply any time range you want. You can select maybe you want ending of maybe 14th of May to 28th of May. You can also apply that. Once you apply that, it's going to refresh and also give us this particular data. But there's something else I want to show you. So if you come to the right side of this particular um, pie chart panel, we can see here that we have value options. So these value options, we have calculate and all values. So what calculate? Calculate a single value per column or series or show each row. So now once we select this calculate, if we come to this table view here, we can see that it's giving us the price for each of these. So we have 147, 122, 95, 614. So if we switch it back here, you can see that it's giving us here 618. If we come to the table here, we can see that is the last values that is giving us 618 for BLK, 91 for AMD, 106 for ABNB, and 140 for Apple. So if we switch it, we can see here that 140 Apple, 106 for ABM. So what is happening is that in calculation, we are telling it to give us the last value from the table that was returned. If you want it to give you the first, you can all you can do is to click on first and also do what refresh. So if we click on first and refresh, we can see that we have 614 for BLK. And if we switch to our table here, we can see that this is 614 and 95.1 for AMD. So if we switch and go to um, AMD, we can see 95.1. So if you want it to show you the first or the last, or if you also want the mean or the max, you have to choose which one you want. And then another thing I also want to show you is the fields. So which fields do you want it to display? It can also show you the numerical fields. If you want it to display the price of AMD, it's only AMD that is going to show us. So if we want numerical fields, we have to also select numerical fields. And then another thing too that I would want you to know is all values. Remember now that when we use calculate, we're going to just get a single value, either the first, the last, minimum, or the maximum. But if you want to see all values of your pie chart, which I don't really advise, if you click on it, you can see that we have lots of data. This will make it very difficult for you to be able to compare which one um, is the biggest or which is the smallest, which is also why it's not advisable to use pie chart for large data because it makes it a bit complex to analyze your data and see if there is any particular difference. Like you can see here, we have all the data. And another thing is it has limits. So we have here, it's only 25 that is displaying. If you want it to display maybe 45, you can see here that it becomes even way more complex. Yeah, another thing you also need to know for pie chart visualiz visualization is that we have two kinds. We have two um, display methods. We have the pie and the donuts. So the donut chart is also another great way for us to visualize our data. But the difference between the donut chart and the pie chart is that the donut chart uses arc segments to display individual dimensions instead of slices. Each donut arc has the same width but a different length. So when you're trying to compare data in the donut chart, what you're going to be checking is which one has the longer length. Now let's quickly show you. So to do that, all we just need to do is to simply switch. Instead of this pie, we are going to select donut. But to do that, I first of all have to select calculate so that it looks better this way because we are working with less data. So now I'm going to click on donut. You can see here that we now have a big um, circle in the middle. And then we can see that this one has the longest length, which tells us that it has the highest data, followed by um, Apple and then followed by AMB, ABNB, and then we have AMD at 95.1. So this is simply um, how to do that, guys. Like, there is nothing very difficult about pie charts. Pie charts are very, very simple, but it is very advisable for you to use smaller data than using a whole large amount of data. Another thing that I want to check out, instead of just prices, we can also check out for volume. I'm going to also quickly um, display and um, take away this query and replace it with another query. I just want to compare the volume that was traded within one day. And it's always best, like let's say for example, in time series, you want to check out the traded volume. Is Sorry about the noise. It's always advisable for you to um, check within the trading day. With that, you actually get a better data than exceeding one day. So I'm going to take away this. And I'm going to be replacing it with this. So here we are just subtracting from the previous bucket 
to um, the current bucket we want to um, determine the trading volume and then we are going to be also grouping by time and symbol and we also order by time and symbol so with this it means that i have to switch and select just a single day so if i do that i'm probably maybe going to select just 12 right so i'm going to select 12 may if we apply this change i'm going to now pick maybe 10 minutes um time bucket you can see that if you scroll down we have data for apple we have avmb we have amd and we have blk so when we switch back we have um we have our AMD, which also has the highest traded volume and I'm checking it with the maximum value and then we have Apple Oh, Apple has the largest because of the length you can see here that Apple has the largest traded volume for this particular day and then followed by AMD before we get ABMB and then we have BLK so this is also how you can check your traded volume if you want to do that so guys there is nothing complex about pie charts really so this is exactly how to do this is exactly how to visualize your data on grafana using um pie chart although pie chart is a good comparison tool for data visualization which can be used to convey your data pictorially and aesthetically which people say is fun because aesthetically is really nice it doesn't work well with data that have very similar values as we saw this is because when we divide the data into slices the similarities make it very hard to differentiate them as we also saw also the more the number of category increases the more the number of slices increases and the more complex the chart becomes to analyze so um, i would always advise to use pie charts only when you have very little amount of data to compare so this brings me to the end of this particular video guys i hope it was very beneficial to you let me know other videos you would want to see from us and also make sure to leave them in the comment sections leave comments guys we read all your comments whatever video you want from time scale be it database whatever it is guys leave it in the comment section we'll be sure to create those videos for you and if you've gotten to this point and you haven't liked this video or subscribed to our channel what are you waiting for be sure to like our video and also subscribe to us and we'll see you in our next video bye